Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Outlaw here with Dads After Dark. Just in case you missed that last episode, here's a sneak peek. Hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know you were there, and we'll return the favor. Who's Mike Wazowski? From Monsters, Inc. That's, uh, that's how I look like now. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that yeah. the one I did? The one I did, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. That's hey, awesome. look, I don't care. Just send me the paychecks these fools are getting. I do have a, I have Mike Wazowski boxers, so it's my one-eyed monster. Um, yeah. That's, I wish I would have never heard that before. Yeah. We could have went without hearing well, that got our whole it, life. It's got holes in them. I'm holding out until Christmas. All right, <laughs> so he's been to do the dummy of the week. Well, you want weird news or you want dummy? I don't care. Whatever you were Well, I mean, the dummy's going to read it, so let's just go weird. <laughs> <laughs> here, y'all, uh, let me let me get my TikTok. Get, it, get Glover All on right. there. He, got he's got a hot mess over he, here. We're fixing to. Uh, he likes to be the, uh, on the camera, so. Right. Yeah, he likes to look here. All right, here's going to be our weird news uh, Wednesday segment. Brought to you by, let's change that sign. Wow. Brought to you by. <laughs> Something else. Um, uh, a different one. Simmons Bank. No, we did them Okay, already. not Simmons Bank. Not Simmons Bank. Here, let's do. Let's do Mitten let's Law do our, Firm. Our homie Justin Mitten. Over Justin at Mitten. Mitten Law Firm. Brought to you by Mitten Law Firm at 2610 Salem Road, Benton, Arkansas. 72019. Call them at 501 794 That's your personal injury attorney. <laughs> all through. <laughs> uh, I didn't know y'all had income coming in. I'm going to slip and call Milt Mitten. Mm, Mitten. 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 Oh, Mitten. Justin, Justin Mitten. He don't cover our uh, slips and falls in here. Oh, okay. My bad. We just bury people. Yes. <laughs> right. Well, I don't think we can say that. I don't Sorry. Like, 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 like. <laughs> that, that I, that's going to get us all banned from Facebook. Now. Well, well, hell with them if it happens. I said something about kidnapping a kid one time jokingly, and I got banned for like a month. I said I was going to kick him kick in the, the shed. shed. I'm going to kick you in the shin when I see you. Mm -hmm. And I was banned. Yep. You, 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 I actually said I'm dead and got in trouble for bullying. Like, it's funny. Like, I, like I, who was I bullying? Mine was myself? bullying. I'm bullying myself. Selfie, I'm bullying myself. Mine was bullying because I was going to kick him in kick the, shin. the shin. That's crazy. All right, guys. Here we go. This is going to be our Weird News Wednesday segment. Student went to the doctor's, doctor's appointment and didn't show up to school. Teacher's receptionist called his phone, heard on his voicemail what she thought was a bomb threat, called the police. The school was put on lockdown. The boy was arrested. His bomb threat, in quotation marks, voicemail was the Fresh, Pin Fresh Prince of Bel-Air theme song. Um, I don't know how they got that out of that. <laughs> Whatever. It's a... So here we go. Schools in Pennsylvania County were on lockdown after a high school student's voicemail greeting of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air theme song was interpreted as a shooting threat. So I went to my uncle. Man. The chaos. I like how you're singing. You're trying to yeah, think. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm, I'm like. The chaos in Beaver County began on Thursday when a receptionist at a Sewekley Eye Doctor's office called Travis Clawson, a 19-year-old Ambridge Area High School student, to confirm an appointment. According to Beaver County Times, <laughs> wait, 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 a nineteen-year-old high school student. I mean, Shane was like twenty when he graduated, twenty-three. Yeah, like but that. he's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> the receptionist call went to voicemail on which Clawson sings Will Smith's "Fresh Prince of Bel Air" theme song for his greeting. Instead, instead of hearing the lyric, "Shooting some b-ball outside of the school," the receptionist interpreted it as shooting some people outside oh, of the school. Oh, mg. Yeah. So if you're going to do that, don't leave that on your voicemail. The basically. entire county was on lockdown. Oh, my. How do you lock down a county? I'm done. <laughs> yeah. That, that's a badass if, police department. If, if you ever wondered if we lived in the same country that uh, I was a kid in, the answer is absolutely no. Not, yeah. even, little, Not even close. That's crazy. Not, they locked down a county because... The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Song. Some no, out not out school. here. They was dancing in the streets with damn busted <laughs> damn fire hydrants. When the Fresh Prince of Bel Air song come on. It says uh, he was afraid and embarrassed. The police officer said, and "Obviously, staff at the doctor's office was embarrassed about the whole thing." Nevertheless, the Ambridge Area School District Superintendent sent a letter to home to parents insisting that the false alarm could be seen as a positive. As always, the safety of our students and staff are at the forefront of our concern. While this situation can be considered to be a false alarm, it was an excellent opportunity to test our emergency procedures. The procedures in place were efficient and quickly implemented and proved to be successful. 
So let me tell you the difference between our neighborhood <laughs> and that neighborhood. So uh, about six weeks ago, there was a report of a uh, suspected dead body uh, right outside the school out in Bauxite. Oh, no. There was no lockdown. They just kept the buses driving. Don't let nobody know. <laughs> it didn't let anybody know. And, like, they locked down the whole county over the Fresh Prince of Bel Airs. That's a badass police department. <laughs> that is. Shut it on down. Just the whole ca- How big is the county? <laughs> right? Yeah. The, That's uh, crazy. <clears throat> you I- said Pennsylvania. The county would actually have to be rather big, actually. You would think. Uh, I'm sure there's some small towns out there or cities or whatever the hell you want to call mm-hmm. them. But, but the counties, though. That's pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> Not... <laughs> you liked that, didn't you? That was pretty good, huh? Now that you checked out that sneak peek, go back and take a look at the full episode. Make sure you hit that subscribe button while you're here, right up there at the top. Like our page on the Facebook. Leave us a comment. Let us know. We'll come back and follow you. We always return the favor. Support your local podcasters, guys. Bye, Sigmund.